The Kimpo Karate for Christ Kids curriculum has, uh, along with the self-defense one-step techniques that we do, um, also a requirement of a form that they're going to perform each level. Uh, these forms become uh, in, in small stair steps, increasingly a little bit more complex. Uh, there are seven of them in total to represent each of the seven levels that are in the uh, Kimpo Karate for Kids curriculum. And the first five of them are what we call our basic forms. So basic form one through five, and then the advanced forms um, one and two uh, make up the seven, seven forms. And the first five, basic five, uh, all follow, well they all follow, all seven follow the I pattern, we call like the capital letter I, where um, you're going to be moving in space if you were to, uh, to consider the, what the capital letter I would be. There'll be a small section right and left um, at the bottom, a slightly longer section moving forward, and then we'll cap it with an equally shorter section at the top, and then it will retrace its steps. Uh, all of these forms have about 20 movements to them, uh, but the first 16 moves are, the, or at least the last four. So there's 16 moves that are, that are um, unique to the form, and then the last four moves kind of repeat the first four that way. So, uh, so the last, it, it's not difficult thinking in terms of there's 16 movements in the whole thing, and the last four just re repeating what the first, first four were. Um, the same is true of the advanced forms. Uh, difference being that the basic forms are just going through basic movements. The advanced forms are going to take the actual one steps that are in the levels you study um, at, that, at that point. So once you get to advanced form one, they'll be, they'll be at the brown stripe level. Uh, so the, the advanced form one is actually made up of the techniques that show up in the brown stripe level. And then uh, for the red stripe level, that would be the advanced form two. And it uh, just consists of the techniques that appear in that level. So um, with that said, it's fairly simple movements. Uh, none of these videos ought to take too long to go through the five uh, basic forms. It'll take a little longer to explain the advanced ones. Uh, but the movements are fairly simple for the basic ones. And again, that's for the point of stair-stepping. You're looking at the possibility of, for a kid's curriculum, them being as young as four years old coming into the program. And it should be accessible for even a kid that young. Uh, granted, maturity, some kids are more ready than others at, uh, at that earliest stage, uh, but, but it should be uh, enough of a challenge that it's appropriate for the first stair step that even a kid that young will take. So uh, basic form one, where that's going to start, all these basic forms will start from this kind of attention position as if you're grabbing your belt and pulling it tight, but the hands are, are mimicking that motion, however, they're just out in front this way. And it's always going to go to the left first. So again, I'm shooting into a, a mirror, so it'll all be mirror image. So following along, start right about here. Step one will turn to the left, and it'll be a left downward block. The whole form is going to be in forward bow here the entire time. Front leg bent, back leg straight, posture up. And as I turn, downward block like someone was kicking. And you step to the side to downward block on a, a front kick. Follow-up step two is going to be a step forward with a punch. Same foot, same hand, step through punch. Step three, same hand that just did the punch, your right hand, your right foot, together will turn towards uh, your right, and you'll downward block, repeating what you did on the left. Again, they attack from the other side with downward block, and then we'll step forward and punch. That's the first four steps. So again, from the top, you have one, and two, three, and four. Now five, five is going to come to the front with a downward block, and uh, this is pretty consistent uh, for all of the forms at step five. We have a, a downward block, at least all the basic forms. Step six is going to start the pattern um, up, heading up towards the front, which is a little bit longer than the side to side. And in this case, for the first form, we just step and punch. Step six. Step seven, you step and punch. And step eight, there's a step and punch, and at this point there's a shout at the same time. The kiyot happens. 
And so we have to stop, if uh, this is the first time you've seen it, and have to explain what the shout is about, what the, what the uh, karate yell, or the kia, is for. And uh, uh, generally, the way I explain it, um, because again, you're explaining it to younger kids, is to um, think of it as uh, what well, you're practicing the use of your voice here. That you can command uh, with uh, sound, create a bigger sound than you actually are, right? And uh, usually in terms of if someone was going to hurt you or a bully was pushing them around, then uh, they're learning how to start to stand up for themselves, command authority by the use of the voice, just by that war cry, that, that simple shout. And at the same time, I usually encourage them, you know, make a mean face, make a tough face at the same time. So if somebody's going to mess with you, you, you don't want to look like you're scared, even if you are. You want to look like you're going to, you know, if they're going to mess with you, they're going to be having to fight you for it. And uh, generally speaking, a bully wants an easy target. They're going to go pick on the kid that doesn't fight back. So just looking like you're going to fight back uh, will usually encourage them to go find somebody else to pick on if it's a bully type of situation that you're dealing with. But, uh, but learning how to do that war cry, how to look mean, how to... Um, create an explosive sound from a small person uh, so that they can start to learn to think in terms of speaking with authority, holding themselves with authority, um, putting, putting forward a good front of uh, being tougher than they really are. And usually that will defer a lot of uh, conflict that they might run into later on in life, um, trying to deal with people that would otherwise push them around. So. Uh, that's what happens at st step 8 and at step 16. There's that explosion of sound. Uh, it also re reminds you to breathe. If uh, the kid's holding their breath, which is what happens in a stressful situation, one of the first things we do is start holding our breath, which is um, completely counterproductive because you want to be able to breathe in order to keep moving, keep, you know, in a self-defense type of situation. Not breathing is a bad thing. So um, it reminds them you got to be breathing. you got to be breathing each point. If they've been holding their breath by the time they get to step eight, they don't remember to breathe, they'll be you know, passing out at that point. So uh, both of those things kind of are um, encouraged with that learning to shout there. Uh, create a bigger sound than you actually are. So again, from the top, step one, step two, three, and four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Ace! Now, here, nine. The other hand, here, my left hand and left foot. I'm going to rear cross and turn. Again, turn towards what would be the right from where we started in downward block, or three o'clock. Now I'm at the top of the eye. This is our step nine, downward block. Step ten is going to follow up with that step through punch. Then we'll turn eleven with the same hand. Downward block. Again with the right, facing the opposite way. Now I'll step through punch with the left. There. And that adds to the top part of the uh, of the eye. So coming back to the beginning, I'm just going to add a section each time. From the top, we have one, two, three, four to the front, five, step six, seven, and eight, eight, nine. Turn and downward block 10 and 11, same hand, downward block 12. Now 13, going back to the beginning, is going to repeat steps 5, 6, 7, and 8. So with my back turned in this case, it'll be a downward block with the left here, just like step 5, and that'll be 13. 14, I'll step and punch with the right, going to the back. 15, I'll step and punch the left. And then 16 again with the right. And again, that explosion of sound happens there. So that's just three coming back, same thing as it was going forward. And that's true of all the, um, well, all the basic and the advanced forms. Um, whatever movement you're doing on the top part of the eye or as you're headed towards the top, it will be the same thing. It'll repeat itself coming back as well. So again, from the top, we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, right, fifteen, left, sixteen, eight, right again. Now, 
17, I'm going to do that left rear cross again and turn right back to where step one was. And I'm repeating step one at this point. And you should be standing right where you were when, uh, when you get to this position uh, so that it's, it's re retracing its steps and you end where you started that way. So that's 17, 18, just like step two. Same hand turns, 19, just like step three. And 20 is just like step four. We come back to close. That's the whole thing, basic form one. One more time, all the way from the top. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And that's basic form one. The hardest part of that uh, is just getting the footwork down and where you step. I usually don't make a big deal um, for the first level because they only have three of the one steps to do in this basic form. I usually don't make a big deal as to which way they, they turn as long as they end with the correct foot forward and they end uh, punching with the correct hand and stepping with the correct foot. So, uh, so if they're going like from step two here to step three, I turn to my right. That's the correct way to do it. The kid steps to his left and still ends up there. Uh, I, don't, I don't make a big deal about that yet. Um, I'll start to increase, you know, um, making those details, perfecting those details uh, at a later stage. I just want to know what sides forward as they go through here with the basic form one. So. That's the first one. Again, just learning the pattern is, is the main focus of this. Um, all the basics are just downward block, step through punch, and it repeats itself. Uh, next up, we'll have basic form two. Uh, it's not a big jump from basic form one. So, see you then.